Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you generation and recombination using uniform elimination of light on semiconductor material. So here I will explain you how exactly generation and how exactly recombination happens as if we fall light on semiconductor material. For that, let me take one example. If you observe here, we are having N type semiconductor material. So, in, on this N type semiconductor material, we are falling light on it. And this is what? Uniform illumination. So, uniform light that we fall over here on this material. So, because of this light, there will be a process of generation. Now, what is generation? See, generation is generation of electron hole pair. And that we are focusing about based on light. See, there can be generation by multiple ways. Let me tell you three ways. One is by increasing temperature. So, as if you increase temperature, these valence electrons, they will be breaking this covalent bond. So, that is one way. That is referred as thermal generation. Thermal generation means by increasing temperature, we can generate electron hole pair. Second is light. So, by light, these electrons will absorb energy and they will be breaking this covalent bond. And as if they break covalent bond, there will be generation of electron hole pair. And third way is by applying electric field. So, by applying electric field, there can be generation of free electron hole pair. Right. So, here we will be discussing about generation and recombination with the use of uniform elimination by light. So, here as I have told you, there will be a generation of electron hole pair. Let me take one example. If you observe here by falling light on N type material, let us say this electron that is getting free. So, here there will be electron and this will be free electron now. This will be free electron now and at this space, there will be vacant space. So, that is referred as hole. So, this is what about one electron hole pair. But likewise, there can be so many electron hole pair generation because of this light. Now, I will be going to explain you the basic calculation, how generation and recombination that take place due to uniform elimination of light. So, here on vertical axis, I am considering concentration and on horizontal axis, I will be considering time. So, here what I will do is, I will be considering at time t is equals to 0 we will switch off light. So, here see from t is equals to 0 onwards, light will be off and before t is equals to 0, light will be on. Right. So, here before t is equals to 0, light is on and after t is equals to 0, light is off. Now, see what will happen as if light is on. As if light is on, there will be generation of concentration. Now, when you talk about generation of concentration, at that time equal number of electrons and holes are generated over here. Here, if you observe, I am taking example of n-type semiconductor material. So, in n-type semiconductor material, already free electrons are there. So, majority carriers are electrons. So, as electrons are majority carrier, percentage variation in electron will be very less. So, here we will be focusing about minority carriers. So, in minority carriers, percentage variation will be large. If you talk about semiconductor devices like pin diode, like photo diode, right, like light emitting diode. So, in that, usually we focus on minority carriers and with the change of minority carriers only, we can be able to understand what is the signal, right. In photo diode, we receive light signal. In light emitting diode, we transmit light signal, right. So, in that, we focus on minority carriers only. Always remember this. So, here with N type, minority carriers are holes. So, here concentration change for holes that will be focusing over here. Now, let us consider we are not having any light. So, there can be free electrons and holes due to thermal temperature. Like, see, at 0 Kelvin, you can say there are no free electrons and holes. But usually we do experiment at greater temperature compared to 0 Kelvin temperature. So, always there will be 
some finite number of electron holes pairs that will be due to temperature remember this so let us consider p0 see here we will be talking about minority carriers so let us consider p0 that p0 is the concentration that happens due to temperature right so here i am saying this is p0 that is happening due to temperature right you can say this p0 is thermal this p0 is thermal concentration right why it is thermal concentration the reason is due to temperature this value is there this p0 will be 0 at 0 kelvin temperature now we are discussing about light so what will happen due to light so remember this see as you fall light because of light there will be generation of electron hole pairs so here let us say here there is a generation of delta p delta p concentration which are the concentration of minority carriers and that is happening due to light so what is the value of this delta p see this value of delta p that is generation rate that is generation rate into into lifetime of hole so generation rate that is number of concentration generated per volume per second into lifetime of hole right so that will be delta p so this additional delta p that is generated because of this light illumination right now here as if you observe this is constant over here up to t is equals to 0 but as we turn off light over here at t is equals to 0 what will happen now this concentration will start to decay but that decay will be exponential let me show you how it will happen you see this decay this decay that will be exponential as if i say this is p as if i say this is p then that will be this p0 is constant throughout so this will be p that will be p0 plus now you see this delta p now that will get decrease exponentially so this delta p into e to the power minus p divided by tp where this tp is lifetime of holes see that is how this will decay same thing will happen with p type semiconductor material in which minority carriers will be electrons right so here there are few essential things that you need to note down for solution of examples here see one thing that is based on what will be concentration so i am writing that is delta p over here but technically that will be delta p plus p naught where p naught is thermal concentration that you can say which is happening due to rise in temperature so as if you want to calculate total concentration p then that will be p naught plus delta p where this delta p that is generation into lifetime of hole right and here you see this decay that is happening with respect to delta p only right it is not happening with respect to p naught where p naught is constant the reason is here we are not changing temperature this p naught is temperature dependent right so here you can say this variation is very small so as if you want to calculate variation over here at that time that will be purely depending on delta p and that is exponential decay so delta p into e to the power minus t by tp or you can say tau p right so this is what exponential decay where tau p is lifetime of holes over here right so how recombination is related so as if i say recombination is r then that will be p minus p naught divided by recombination rate right which is based on lifetime so p minus p naught divided by tau p that is how recombination will be there right same thing which is there over here you can observe delta p that is p minus p naught divided by tau p but that is generation due to light similarly recombination will be p minus p naught divided by tp but here concentration decay that is exponential right and here uniformly light is on that's why that delta p which is generation of holes due to due to light over here so these are the essential formulas that you will have to remember to solve problems so in next video i'll be going to solve 
three problems which are very interesting by those examples that you can solve only if you see this video. I hope you have understood this till if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.